Studies show that when a senior is injured in a fall, their mortality rate increases by 25% over the next year. One condition that commonly leads to injury from a fall is osteoporosis. In today's video, we'll talk about osteoporosis and some things you can do to manage it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Rob King from Valley Senior Advisors. We help seniors find the best senior living options in the Phoenix area and our services are 100% free. Before we get started, download the Essential Arizona Assisted Living Guide for free at valleyseniordvisors.com forward slash assisted living guide or click the link in the description. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. With that out of the way, let's get on to the video. Osteoporosis is a progressive bone disease that's characterized by a decrease in bone mass and density. It leads to fragile bones that are more prone to fractures. The condition often develops without symptoms over many years until a bone fracture occurs. Osteoporosis is common in older adults, particularly post-menopausal women, but it can affect anyone at any age. Bones are living tissues that are constantly being broken down and rebuilt. In individuals with osteoporosis, the rate of bone breakdown outpaces the rate of bone formation. This results in bones that are less dense and more susceptible to fractures. The causes of osteoporosis are multifaceted and involve a combination of genetic, hormonal, nutritional, and lifestyle factors. Some of the primary causes include age. As people age, bones naturally become thinner because the body reabsorbs bone cells faster than new bone is made. This is particularly true after the age of 50. Hormonal changes. Estrogen, which is a hormone in women that protects bones, decreases sharply when women reach menopause, which causes bone loss. After menopause, the production of estrogen decreases, leading to rapid loss in bone density. Women can lose up to 20% of their bone density in the first five to seven years after menopause. Although osteoporosis is more common in women, men are also at risk, particularly those with low levels of testosterone. Men experience a gradual decrease in testosterone as they age, which can contribute to bone loss. Nutritional deficiencies. Calcium and vitamin D are crucial for bone health. A deficiency in these nutrients can lead to weakened bones and increased risk of osteoporosis. Genetics. A family history of osteoporosis can increase an individual's risk of developing the condition. Certain genetic factors can affect bone density and the likelihood of fractures. Lifestyle factors. Sedentary behavior, excessive alcohol consumption, and smoking can all contribute to the development of osteoporosis. These behaviors can negatively affect bone density and overall bone health. Medical conditions and medications. People with chronic medical conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, celiac disease, and inflammatory bowel disease are at higher risk of osteoporosis. These conditions can affect the body's ability to absorb nutrients essential for bone health or lead to chronic inflammation, which makes bones weaker. People on long-term corticosteroid therapy. Long-term use of corticosteroids, which are often prescribed for chronic conditions such as asthma or rheumatoid arthritis, can interfere with the bone's rebuilding process leading to osteoporosis. The risks associated with osteoporosis are significant and they can lead to a considerable impact on an individual's quality of life. The most immediate and severe risk of osteoporosis is the increased likelihood of fractures. These fractures can occur with even minimal trauma, such as a fall from standing height. Hip fractures are particularly dangerous and are associated with increased mortality. The complications from surgery, prolonged immobilization, and the increased risk of infections and blood clots are what primarily lead to higher mortality rates. Fractures in the spine can lead to chronic pain and decreased height. This pain can be extremely intense and significantly reduce quality of life. Preventing osteoporosis involves several strategies aimed at maintaining and improving bone density throughout life. Some key preventative measures include adequate calcium and vitamin D intake. Calcium and vitamin D are essential for bone health, so it's important to make sure you're getting enough in your diet. Calcium is the primary mineral found in bones, while vitamin D helps the body absorb calcium effectively. Dairy products and leafy green vegetables are good sources of calcium. Getting sun exposure and eating certain foods like fish can provide vitamin D. Regular exercise. Weight bearing and resistance exercises are beneficial for strengthening bones and preventing bone loss. Activities such as walking, jogging, weightlifting, and dancing are effective for promoting bone health. Healthy lifestyle choices. Avoiding smoking and limiting alcohol consumption are important for maintaining bone health. Smoking has been shown to decrease bone density, while excessive alcohol intake can interfere with the balance of calcium in the body. 
The most important thing you should do if you have osteoporosis is to prevent falls. One effective way to reduce fall risk is through senior living communities. They're designed with safety features like handrails, non-slip flooring, and accessible bathrooms that minimize tripping hazards. Senior living environments also offer tailored exercise programs that improve balance and coordination, which further reduces the risk of falls. Professional staff is also available to provide assistance, making sure that seniors have the support they need to stay safe and maintain their independence. By choosing senior living, individuals with osteoporosis can significantly lower their risk of falls and the potentially serious consequences that follow. If you got value from this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can hit the notification bell to be notified of when we post new videos. YouTube thinks you may also like this video. Go ahead and click it and let us know what you think. If we can help you or a loved one find senior living, please give us a call. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care and we'll see you in the next video.